Welcome back everybody to another episode in my speed build series. In today's episode we are building another community lot. Um, this speed build is going to be a kind of tropical island um, themed pool. I don't know if you can call it that, but what is it called in English? It's basically like a small water park. I was planning on doing a giant water park, but apparently this is like the biggest I can possibly build because I was really, I was really um, wanting to use this giant dome basically to create this build and I thought it was bigger, but it's apparently not. <laughs> yeah, it's like supposed to be a butterfly observatorium or something. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. But yeah, it's a pool in this build. Um, yeah, so this build is actually the like this finished video is the second version of this because I built one previously without this dome, but it was way too small and I was really unsatisfied with it. And yeah, there wasn't enough space to uh, cooperate all my visions for this build, so I decided to rebuild it, which honestly this build took kind of a while. But anyways, it had a lot of issues with placing the dome in the right space and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I'm also going to change it later on to a different dome. Yeah, but for the um, toilets and bathrooms and stuff, changing rooms, I created this little um, basement. And also, like, you needed the basement to get into the dome, <laughs> like the stairs, um, because there's, like, no other way in. Yeah, but I think it was kind of a good idea to create the toilets downstairs, because also, as I said, like, I still didn't have enough space in this on this lot, even though this was, like, one of the most giant lots that you could possibly build. Um, it's located next to the school, which is kind of weird, but I didn't want to place it in the town center. And I had like only a few options of bigger lots because I also had the option of placing it on... Like the first try that I did of like this sort of build, I did next to the grocery store. But honestly, that, that lot was way too small. And yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm like happy where it's placed. And I think like from the map view, it looks really good with the dome and stuff. Um, yeah, so I just created this little entrance. And also I think this episode is going to be kind of... I feel like I'm going to mess up my entire schedule, but I really want to upload upload this one kind of sooner. Because the upcoming episodes are kind of repetitive. And yeah, I think I'm going to change the... Um, yeah, change the order in which I'm going to post my episodes. A little bit so if the upcoming episodes are kind of confusing with with me saying like welcome to episode i don't know 25 and it's actually episode 26 six or something just ignore that um <laughs> yeah but as you can see i'm just like doing the bathrooms i did three separate ones and i did two separate changing rooms they're not really that interesting i just went for a gray theme <laughs> i don't know if you can call this a theme but yeah and some wood on like the thingies underneath the sinks yeah it's really not that interesting um and for the upstairs as well like i said i didn't really have enough space to create all of my visions that i had for this build even though this is a bigger lot than the previous one but i think it turned out kind of cute and yeah i'm really satisfied with how it looks and also it looks so good and if you're like in game mode and you are like underneath the dome it looks so cool and especially when there's like um, dawn or dusk it looks really good and at night as well because you can, can see the stars and stuff yeah i think that looks really good oh it was such a pain to <laughs> place all of these uh, individual lockers but i really wanted to incorporate them i used them in the gym before i think yeah i did i mean probably in another bit as well i don't know i don't remember or, hmm, maybe i didn't doesn't matter i also placed down some showers i hope i placed them in a way that they are uh, all functional at least one of them is functional in both of the lockers because I play tested it, but I'm not sure about all of them, honestly. Um, yeah, it's really again not that interesting <laughs> right now doing all the basement stuff, but it was important that I did that. Well, it was important because I wanted to include it. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, I also placed on some signs. I used this sign in all of like the entire build. Um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I got some new CC signs. I think I've teased it in a lot of my previous builds, but yeah. Also, I think I said already that I'm going to replace the dome. Um, this one has like dark green 
metal elements and I'm going to replace it with one that has white elements because I just thought the white ones looked so much better. Yeah, these are kind of areas to get ready after swimming. Like, um, <laughs> you can, what is it called? Blow dry your hair, that's what it's called. Yeah, and get ready after swimming. Oh, I honestly love going swimming. I haven't been in a while, but especially in like a kind of spa. Well, not only, I, I love water parks. But also like if they're kind of spa inspired and stuff oh, i love going there and also afterwards the best part when i love eating healthy and right now i'm actually eating really healthy um and i love doing that and stuff but after swimming it's like the best to get like when you're like really really hungry and oh, i don't know i just love getting like greasy food afterwards it's so good yeah it's the best part and yeah for the outside i just went for some rocks as decoration and some trees I put some solar panels on the roof and later on in the end I'm going to put some windmills. Windmills? Is that what they're called? Well, be behind this kind of building, this entrance building. Yeah, just so that it seems a little bit more eco-friendly, I don't know. Um, it's probably really, really not that eco-friendly to heat up the entire dome. And also I uh, deleted the dome while building because it would have been so annoying, especially for the viewer, to have this dome in your face all the time. Yeah, so I deleted it while building and that only became an issue later on when I had to when I had to place it back on, but I cut that part out. I honestly it was like it took me like half an hour to to place the dome back to like the exact place where I wanted it to and it kept clipping into the ground and ugh, it was such a pain, but I, I managed. Um yeah, anyway, see so I to be placing down two hot tops and I also like these are like the standard hot tops. Um but I also placed down a more natural thermal hot tub thingy there you can see it in the background with the stones around it the rocks around it um yeah this is kind of a trust the process thing this looks really dumb right now i'm aware of that but if i'm when i'm done with the landscaping and put some trees and yeah the landscaping in general in there it looks so much better um yeah so recently i've been kind of experienced a lot of anxiety around this i don't know why because nobody's watching it anyways <laughs> But, I don't know, um, I just felt really anxious, not doing these builds, but posting these builds, which just, again, is so stupid because <laughs> I don't have like a huge audience or anything, but I just, I don't know, had some anxiety around it, but sometimes you just gotta push through and every sort of art that you create, any like creative process requires like a form of, not necessarily embarrassment, but like a risk of embarrassment. And honestly, embarrassment is kind of fun because at some point you just stop caring and if you embarrass yourself a little every day, like it becomes so much easier and you get so much happier because you just start doing whatever you want without the fear of judgment. But sometimes it's still kind of hard. And I'm right now, I don't know why, but I'm in a phase right now where I'm getting insecure, which is so annoying. It's so annoying, trust me, because like no one cares, like in a good way, like in a way that nobody cares uh, if i embarrass myself because why would they like it's my life it's, it has nothing to do with anyone else but anyways um back to the build that got deep there for a sec and <laughs> um, back to the build yeah i placed down this pool which <laughs> in the end i had to <laughs> create a little island on this pool because um i when placing down the dome like I, like i said earlier it kept clipping into the ground and that was because of this pool because it, the pool is kind of in the center of the entire build but anyways, I managed to do that and it looks fine in the end. It kind of looks cool actually because I um, put down a palm tree. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't matter. You can't see that right now. Yeah, this pool is also the one with the slide on it. My screen just turned black for a second. I got scared that my editing process was gone, but it wasn't. Uh, I don't know why I'm mentioning this. You can't see that. But anyways... Um, yeah, again, I'm really bad at placing down curved pools, but I wanted to, so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, no, but for real, for real, this is, uh, I, I like how it turned out in the end. And that's the most important part. As I said, like, when I'm experiencing anxiety about anything, it also, like, when posting on Instagram or something, I'm, I get so anxious. I have to, like, leave Instagram alone for that day because I don't know why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> But why, why am I telling you this? Um, what was my point? My point was that the only thing that matters is that I like what I create. And I do. I like it. And I really like uh, 
how the seating area turned out. That was that was what I was about to say with the um, what do you call this? <laughs> the sun protection thingy, which doesn't really matter because as I said, it's like in a dome. But anyways, and just for fun, I also created this little slide area, <laughs> and I had the option to do the um, the standard slide without the sharks on it but honestly i went for the fun version because it's just so much better and also with this pool i had to i cut that out well i didn't cut it out because i just didn't record it um i had to change the location of this pool later on but it's really it really doesn't matter it looks almost similar um because the like the dome had some pipes basically on the inside that i didn't notice before and they are located exactly where the um rocky pool is oh my god can you see how the water reflects on there it looks so <laughs> it looks so much like one of my favorite title tv shows what was it what is it called in english just that water like the mermaid one oh, the best with the moon um moon lake is that what it's called it looks a little bit like that but anyways i also like how i placed these i still don't know what they're called uh day beds basically <laughs> around no that's definitely not what they're called but these um lounge chairs i think are they called lounge chairs doesn't matter i like how they're like in a curved position um yeah then i did a little food court area court i don't know food area um, where you can get food i just put a little cash register in there as well and yeah some seating as well it's really not that interesting again the highlight is kind of next to this, but yeah, I had some, it took me some quite some time to figure that one out. But yeah, I also put a recycle bin, of course, because this is an eco-friendly town. <laughs> Again, I kind of messed up here, but it doesn't really matter because, well, it didn't mess up, but it looks like a weird shape. Like the only thing I'm trying to achieve here when building like curved pools is to make them not sexual, okay? And that's a challenge because like with the Sims, oh, these pools, they're such a pain. Anyways, um... I did put the diving boards on a different pool in the end. In the end, I'm doing that in like two minutes. But yeah, for this area, there's going to be a little surfing area, basically. Um, I've never used it before, like when playing. So and I rarely play this game. So, <laughs> But yeah, I thought it was really nice to include them. And yeah, that's that. But in this area in the back, there's going to be the... Uh, the diving boards and also put a little waterfall in there as well because i really wanted to include it and again i had so many more like themed pool areas planned but there wasn't any space in this build uh, in this build in this lot which really sucks but yeah i mean i could have like added a different lot in the back because i also could have if i wanted to really um like really put in a lot of work i could have edited the town in create a world which i can do because that's how i created this world in general but and then you can add like certain lot sizes that you can't add in like editing the world um why am i telling you this what was i about to say oh yeah because if i would add a lot right now like in game mode um it's probably it's very unlikely especially because this is kind of a hilly area that it would clip uh and it wouldn't be connected to the street properly so yeah i just didn't do that um, also, another um, positive with the dome is that I could add like larger trees because in like the previous build that I'm probably going to delete, I uploaded it already, but I wasn't happy with it, so I'm probably going to delete it. Um, it's really boring. You're not missing out on anything. <laughs> um, it's basically a boring version of this one. Um, yeah, but with that one, I had the problem that all of the trees that I wanted to use. I mean, I did put like. I don't know how many stories but it was like a four-story building or something um but yeah i put a lot of trees there and they kept clipping through the roof and that looked really bad so i didn't do that yeah um we're almost at the end of this speed build i have so much to talk about today because i honestly also wanted to talk about sometimes i forget that you have like free will um and i like my little self-talk sessions but anyways um, and yesterday i remembered because yesterday morning i was like um oh for reference it's easter right now like it's easter sunday well this has nothing to do with easter so i don't know why i'm mentioning it but yesterday I, in the morning i was at the gym and i was in like my uh, my little break between my sets of doing split squats where i can do well it doesn't matter how much i can do there i shouldn't brag but 
I was happy because I could up the weight, but it doesn't matter. Um, what was I about to say? I was scrolling like on Pinterest, which is what I'm doing because it's so much, it's like the most less, the most, it's the least toxic uh, social media basic that there is, I feel like, because there's like no comparison and stuff. It's great. Anyways, I was scrolling there and I uh, saw some inspiration and I was like, honestly, I have free will. I should just get more piercings in my ears. And then I just did. And it was, it was great. Like in the afternoon, I didn't get all of them that I wanted because for some you have to get to go to like a, like a real piercer. And I didn't do that because they were closed uh, yesterday afternoon when I went there. Um, but yeah, just remember that you have free will, do whatever you want. And now I got these new piercings that need to heal and I hope they don't get infected. Yeah, because usually they get infected in my ear, but it doesn't matter. Um, infected, it sounds so... Ugh. They usually... It takes ages for them to heal, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I also put down this little statue of like a seahorse. Is that what they're called in English? I think so. I don't know, it's kind of tacky, but <laughs> I kind of liked it. Um, yeah, I added radiators downstairs. I obviously didn't in the, do uh, in the doom, in the dome. But yeah. Also, do you guys remember the Simpsons episode with the dome? It was probably based on some dystopian novel, but I don't know which one, so I'm not going to spread any misinformation right now. Um, oh my god, I have so much more to talk about, but speedboat is almost done. Yeah, I'll save the, my, my next topic for the for the next speed build. Um, yeah, I also added these fog machines basically, but I didn't... Oh, I could have added like the fog effect with some of them, but I did bubbles. It looks so cool in the... you can see it in the screenshots in the end. That is the speed build almost done. I'm just going to smooth the edges a little bit, adding some more landscaping around those pipes especially. And yeah. At this point, I didn't notice that the pipe on the inside kept clipping into the stuff, but I'm going to fix that later on. You can see it in the screenshots, I think. Yeah, but I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.